as you know, next year you will be going into K2 kindergarten, the next level of kindergarten. Isn't that so exciting? I'm really awesome, super, super, super shy for going to kindergarten. I'm so proud of how far all of you have come. So, because you all are going to kindergarten next year, you're going to be big kids in the school now. You get to go to the bathroom by yourself. You get to do all this stuff by yourself. But you're going to get to grow your brain even bigger. And Mr. Blue will continue to be so, so, so proud of all of the things that you're putting into your brain to get even bigger and bigger and bigger. So friends, today we're going to be reading The King of Kindergarten. And the author of this book is Derek Barnes, and the person who drew the pictures is Vanessa Brantley Newman. King of Kindergarten. He even has a crown on. He is red deep. The morning sun blares through your window like a million brass trumpets. It sits and shines on your head like a crown. Mommy says that today you are going to be the king of kindergarten. You'll use your golden toothbrush to clean ye, ro ye royal chiclets. You'll wash your face with a cloth bearing the family crest. You'll even dress yourself neatly in hand-picked garments from the far-off villages of Osh and Kosh Bagosh. You'll be ready to reign. Oh, so many kings and queens of kindergarten in row three. My baby is heading to school, Mommy will say during breakfast. But you're not a baby. Could a baby walk down a tower of pancakes the way you can? I don't think so. You're growing up so fast, Daddy will say, and he'll be right. I can't stay the same size forever, can I? You'll say. One day, I'll be taller than you, Daddy, and you'll be my little man. Daddy will laugh, but you won't be joking. Then a big yellow carriage will deliver you to your grand fortress. As you walk up to the towering doors, you'll remember Mommy saying, hold your head high and greet everyone with a brilliant, beaming, majestic smile. For you are the king of kindergarten. Your teacher will welcome you with a warm smile and a friendly good morning. She'll be delighted to she'll be delighted by how you recite your name with pride. When you head your, to your royal seat, the, king, the kids at your round table will wave and say hi, like they've been waiting on you all summer. So you'll smile back, return the wave, and give them a cheerful, hi everybody. The truth is, you couldn't wait to meet your kindergarten kingdom either. Your teacher will go over the classroom rules, and you'll discuss important matters such as shapes, the alphabet, which many of you already know, Room 3. And never-ending mystery of numbers. And so many friends already know their numbers. I'm giving you shine already for that. She'll even read a book about trucks, trains, and tractors. Woo! That sounds like a lot. But you are the king of kindergarten. Piece of cake. You will show your bravery at recess when you go up to one of your classmates and ask, Marie, do you want to play with me? Oh, that's a perfect way to ask someone if you want to play with them. Not only will she say yes, but she'll lead the way, helping you save the kingdom by battling a fire-breathing dragon. In the cafeteria, the boys will sit next to you, and you will be missing dessert. You'll have packed your favorite chocolate pudding with an extra cup just in case. So you'll say to him, want pudding, Howie? He'll say, thanks, and you won't mind at all. Because what could be cooler than sharing with your new friends? But we don't always share food in school. And after your royal rest, whoa, nap time looking all familiar, you'll raise your, your arise to sing and dance to the bop of a rhythmic beat. Oh, looks like there's going to be some wiggles. 
The day you will be the day will be one you'll never forget. At the end of it, your teacher will wish you all a magnificent evening and bid you farewell until dawn. On your way back home, you'll think of all the things you can't wait to tell your family. I made a bunch of new friends. My teacher is nice, and recess is the best thing ever. And tomorrow it will begin again. Another day as charming, the wonderful, and the kind came up in the garden. Wow, friends, I really like this book because it reminds me of my room three friends, Amy, room three, that's you, who are going up to K2 next year. And let me tell you, friends, Miss Tumbuya is so proud of all the hard work you all have been doing from September to now, and then you were super brave when we had to leave our classroom and take our classroom and put it onto Zoom and be with each other through a computer. You've done so much, and you have grown so big. Some of you have grown in height, some of you have grown in age, but all of your brains have grown so big. I remember friends coming in on the first day and being kind of shy, and there's some friends who are not shy anymore. They're very confident, and they love to talk and be a leader in our classroom. There's so many friends who have learned so many different things and made so many new friends, not just in K1, but in K2, in the YMCA, and um, at the recess, in the lunchroom. You guys have all made so many great friends, and I am always so happy to hear all of the stories that you share with me. I love talking to all my room three friends. Friends, it has been such a great year together. And Ms. Mbuya cannot wait to see how much bigger your brain grows as you get older and older and older until you're probably going to be taller than me one day. And I'll be like, is that, were you in room three? Was that my student in K1 when you were four and five years old? So friends, I know that going to a new classroom can be kind of scary and going up to a new grade with a new teacher is scary. But I just want to let you know that I will always be there to support you. Um, even if I am not close by, I will always be there to support each and every one of you in room three. Because as you know, us in room three, we are a family and we support and love each other. Even though our class may look different, we might have kids from different classes, we might not be with our friends from last year, all of them, we are still a family and we will always be a family because we were the first group together at the Adams School, and you guys will remember that as you go on and on and on, and you can bring things to your new teacher and your new friends of things that you learned, how to follow the rules, how to listen in class, being brave and raising your hand, coming in the door by yourself, and being safe on the playground and everywhere in the school. Friends, I can't wait to see what powerful and artistic and creative and funny and just everything else human beings that you become as you keep getting older and older and older. Thank you so much for being my students this year. But before we end, I want to show you the kings and queens of kindergarten. Starting in three, two, one.